Hello everyone. The story I'm going to share today is God helps a kind person. At the time of Northern and Southern dynasties, there was a family named Yang who lived in Luoyang, the capital of Northern Wei. The Yang family had six brothers, and all of them made their living by doing manual labor for others. But no one ever thought. That there would be so many royal ministers emerging among the offering, or that the family would become a noble family, the following story might help you find the answer. Among the six brothers, Yang Yun was known for his kindness and respect for his parents when he was little. After his parents died, Yang Yun was often in tears because he missed his parents. So he sold all his properties and moved to the north. People were confused to find out that the place he moved to had a little water. The house he lived in was on the side of the street, below a steep slope. Every day he got up very early to get water with a trolley, and gave the drinking water to all passersby. He also helped them repair their shoes for free. Year after year, he kept doing good things for other people, never changing his mindset and never slacking off. One day, a scholar came to his house. The scholar looked different, as if he were a celestial being. He did not ask for water, but instead asked, "Why didn't you plant vegetables for yourself?" Yang Yun answered, "I do not have vegetable seeds." The scholar then gave him some vegetable seeds. Yang Yun thanked him and planted the seeds in his garden the next day. Not long after, the vegetable grew tall, and then overnight it turned into white jade. Later, the scholar came again. Yang Yun thought that the scholar definitely was not an ordinary person. This time, the scholar asked him again, "Why don't you get married?" Yang Yun replied, "Who would like to marry a poor old man like me?" The scholar said, "If you ask a girl from a noble family to marry you, you will succeed." Upon hearing this, he was shocked and thought he had heard wrong. Not to mention the girls of noble families, but even the girls from the poor families may not be willing to marry me, because I am already famous for my poor life. But this scholar definitely is not a normal person. I have to believe his words. This time, Yang Yun believed him without any doubt. He started to ask around, and eventually, he found that there was a daughter from the Xu family, which was famous for its wealth in the whole city because she was born into a noble family. Many matchmakers came to her house, but she liked none of them. Yang Yun asked a matchmaker to go to her and try to ask. At the beginning, the girl just burst into laughter. She thought that Yang Yun must be crazy. How could they dare to ask her to marry, as he was so poor and had such a low social status? Later, after she heard that Yang Yun had always done good things for other people, she made a joke with the matchmaker. She said. If he could give me a pair of jade plates and one thousand tiers of silver, I will marry him. The next day, the matchmaker brought the pair of jade plates and the silver to Xu's family. The girl got shocked, and she could not believe her eyes. She thought, "How could a poor man afford such a big betrothal gift?" But as I promised him already, I cannot break my promise. I have to marry him. After they married, they lived a happy life. They had ten sons who were all smart and handsome. They all took important positions like ministers, and one even became a prime minister in the royal court. Gradually, in their city, there came to be many families by the name of Yang, who were their descendants. It turned out that the scholar Yang Yunmen was a god who had come to human society to test people. He saw Yang Yun working hard for other people silently and never asked for reward, so he helped him. This story reminds me another thing, which is human exams knowledge, God exams virtue. That is very true. 
Thank you very much for listening to the story. More touching stories will be ready for you if you just subscribe. Thank you again.